What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Madden Ballers YouTube channel and our Detroit Lions franchise. You're probably wondering why this game is starting late in the third quarter. Lions up 14 to 10. Well, my Elgato, I got the new HD60 and I was playing around with software 2.1 and that touchdown to Calvin Johnson will put the Lions up 21 to 10 over the Saints. Back to why this game's starting in the third quarter, late in the third. As you take another look at that one. I was playing around recording with software version 2.1, which is a public beta for Mac OS X for Stream Command. And it only ended up recording the last 45 minutes or so of the game. I'm not sure why. I hit the record button at the beginning of the game. So I'm not sure why. So this is what we have, a shortened version for week seven of the Detroit Lions franchise as the Lions are up 21-0 and Forrest Hansen here in the fourth quarter getting some carries along with LaMichael James trying to run some clock down and they do so under three to go and a big second down conversion to Eric Ebron puts the Lions inside the 30 and a third down puts Toby Gearhart Nowhere. A field goal makes it a two-score game, a two-touchdown game. And the Saints would try here to come back here with under two minutes to go. Breeze on fourth and ten would step up, avoid the sack, and find Cunningham for the first down catch. Another fourth down later on, and Breeze is going to find Stoker, or Stoker for a first down. Third and six now for the Saints. And Breeze going to find Brandon Oliver downfield for the first down catch. Fourth and eight now with 11 seconds to go. It's pretty much over here, and it will be with this sack of Breeze. And the Lions can kneel the ball down and get a victory over the New Orleans Saints in this game 24-10. And there was a nice play to Calvin Johnson. Nice one-handed catch I wanted to show you, but that was at the end of the first half. Even though it's a shortened version, the Lions get the win. They get the victory to stay undefeated to improve to 6-0 on the season. As you look at the stats here, first time in about three or four games, the Lions have been held to under 30 points. And they hold the Saints to 10 I think that's the first time in a while that anybody has scored in double digits against the Lions. So overall, a very good game for the Lions. And they are 6-0. and The Vikings, 3-3. Three and three. Bears, 3-4. Three and four. And Packers, 2-4. and four. They all trail the Lions by at least three games there. And coming up in the next episode, the Lions will be at home again for a matchup against the 6-1 Baltimore Ravens. Can the Lions improve to 7-0? You'll have to come back for that episode. Sorry for the short episode this week, or this for this week's game. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're new and want to see more Detroit Lions franchise. As always, you can follow me over on Twitter, at MaddenBallers. And we'll catch you guys in the next episode.